In the last tutorial, we used Convert Harmony to MIDI to create a pretty cool MIDI guitar lick. But we decided in the last tutorial that some automation could really help the cause. Thankfully, in Live 9, there is Session View Automation. Let's check this out now. In order for a Session View Automation to take place, we'll need a few things active. First, we need the Session Automation arm on. This tells Ableton that we're not just recording in the session view, but we're recording automation in the session view as well. Big difference. We'll also need to arm the track that we intend to record automation for. So we'll arm the guitar track that we've been working on. Finally, the session record button has to be enabled, which will also start whichever scene is currently queued. Now that we're recording, let's go ahead and modify some parameters, aka tweak some knobs. Let's do some sweeping. The automation, as you notice, only records along the length of the loop. Once the clip returns to the beginning, the automation recording returns to the beginning of where you started. Now you can unlink the parameters in the clip view and set the loop of the parameter that you'd like to extend the automation for, for a longer amount of time. Remember too that you can always record ARM multiple tracks by holding down the command button. This will allow you to go through and record automation for several clips. This is even better if you've mapped several parameters to a MIDI controller. It saves a lot of moving around the live interface. Okay, we've gotten a good idea how to use automation and we've learned a bit about converting harmonies to MIDI. But what about melodies? In the next tutorial, Let's take a look at another take on MIDI conversion for monophonic notes.